It's my face on a giant biscuit or cookie. Does that look like me? First of all, the regrowth. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the... Honestly. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm just introducing the vlog because I literally just then accidentally deleted the first 40 seconds of the vlog and I've like, I don't have the clips so they're gone. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but it's basically me just in the car saying happy Monday um, and explaining how I bit my tongue at the gym. Insert some of the video now. It's definitely like a lot better now because obviously it's been nearly a week. Um, but yeah, it really, really hurt and I spoke quite funny for the next like 48 hours. I've also just got a tan on by the way, if you're wondering why my neck is a completely different color to my face. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to refilm this instead of just getting straight into it. We do have some workout footage coming up, which I'm super excited for. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this weekly vlog. Sorry about that noise, <laughs> but let's jump straight into it. If you're right here next to me, something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess. And you tell me to confess, and you tell me to confess. Oh, I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see. This is not the Just after 11, I've been doing some editing. Kiara is drinking rainwater from the ground. She like refuses to drink out of a bowl unless it's like, <laughs> Kiara, what are you? Um, my tongue is a little bit better. I can see all my um, breakouts. I think everything's kind of coming to the surface with my skin at the moment. But yeah, that's really sore. Um, so I'm trying not to talk as much, which is a bit hard because I need to talk. Oh no, and this is getting worse. And I just got a call from Ikea saying my outdoor lounge setting is about to be delivered. So it's raining right now, which is a little bit inconvenient. I don't know whether they're gonna need to go around the side of the house. I can feel myself speaking really strange. Um, or if they're gonna be able to come through the front door. <laughs> I've washed my hair. I haven't blow dried it yet because I can't really, really be bothered it's just rainy and all I want to do is watch Netflix but yeah, I'm excited for the lounge setting I just wish it wasn't raining but that's all right um <laughs> the update on like the fairy light situation we need to figure out a way to secure them because what we've what we had was like the command strips you can see they've like some of them have fallen down but Elise reckons she knows what to do because she's like a little handy woman oh, yeah but hopefully the lounge setting fits in my area I did measure it but yeah and I also ordered a chair I'll pop it here from Temple and Webster like I said I get in spending moods and I just go nuts and I went a little bit nuts um, so I'll probably put it in this corner here I think or in this corner we'll see hey Kiara we'll see I'm just gonna sit here until they come I probably should get some shoes all right so I just got a package from Petal and Pop they are sponsoring this little sportion I was gonna say section and then I went to say portion. It's portion! So I've got a few little bits and bobs here to show you. I will leave my discount code on the screen with Petal and Pop if you wanna check anything out. They have such nice, elegant, I always feel like a girly girl in everything that I get from Petal and Pop. So let's dive straight in. First up, I'm obsessed with this color at the moment. I cannot get enough of it. This like chocolate rich brown. 
Isn't she gorgeous? I saw this and I was like, that looks extremely comfortable. I've said this a thousand times, but I've always shied away from longer dresses because I don't know, being short, feel, I always felt like I couldn't wear them, which is not true at all. You can wear whatever the heck you want, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so this is in like a really, really comfy jersey material that's ribbed. And if you can see there, it's like a beautiful chocolate brown. This is like, what is it called? Is it a midi dress? See on me, this is more of like a maxi, like a midaxi. Is that a word? Where it's like not quite a maxi, but it's not quite a midi dress. It's got like slits on the side, but in the summertime, even now in winter, you can still like pop a jacket over the top. So cute, super comfy. It has kind of like a razor back design. Gorgeous. They have this in a few different colors. Mine's in a size six. So comfy. Gives you a lot of shape. Then this, I've been on the hunt for a blazer. I love that oversized blazer look with like big chunky boots. I've never been like game enough to wear it though. I've got a few blazers, but no black ones. So I have this one here in a size eight because I didn't want it to be like too oversized. I don't know. I'm still figuring out what I think looks good on me in terms of that oversized blazer look. Um, but this is what she looks like. Black buttons, which I really, really love. I didn't want anything that had like silver buttons or something or like colored buttons. And I honestly think I could wear this as a proper blazer and not like a blazer dress if I wanted to look a bit more sophisticated. Job interview, even though I'm not going for a job interview anytime soon, but this would be so good for that. It doesn't have a shoulder pad, so it's not like super boxy or anything. Super nice material, very classy. I feel like everyone definitely needs a good blazer in their wardrobe. And then this is super cute. Has it got fluff on it? I lent it to my friend for concert. <laughs> I'm like, is it dirty? Um, I've been trying to stock up on some longer sleeved shirts since we are in winter. This is kind of like a mock neck. I don't really like turtlenecks. They're very restricting on me. I love a high neckline, um, but this is in like quite a thin fabric, so it's not too hot. The back of it's really cool because it ties. So it's got like a little bit of a peekaboo back. And then the sleeves are kind of like ruched a little bit, which is really cute. So good to go with some jeans, especially with some like gold jewelry. This one's in a size six as well. And then last but not least, I cannot help myself when it comes to sweaters. I just can't. They're just the best. They always look so cute. Look at this color, first of all. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, I have to have that. It's like a big oversized sweater and it just says Hawaii on the front with a little palm tree and then USA. Love, I got mine in a size 12. I'm pretty sure that was the only size that was in stock when I was looking. And it's like the perfect oversizedness. Um, I've worn this so many times and I've spilt food on it literally every time I've worn it. So I've washed it a bunch already. <laughs> I'm absolutely hopeless when it comes to like, that is how my whole flooding of my house situation started because I spilt, I spilt coffee on myself. And then I went to soak the shirt and then I flooded the house. It's just, I'm not sure what's... <laughs> What's going on lately? But how cute is she? I wore this in my, like one of my previous vlogs and I got so many questions asking where it's from. So cute, super warm on the inside as well. It's nice and fleecy. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this color, like baby blue. Give me, give me all the baby blue in the world. So that is everything that I have to show you guys from Petal and Pup. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this little section of the vlog. I will leave all the links in the description box down below. And this is my discount code if you want to save some money. But let's continue with this vlog. All right, so it's now the afternoon. My Ikea set has arrived. I can't get over how I'm speaking. Started to assemble it. As you can see, this is the progress we've made. Um, we've got like this part and still quite a bit to go. There was this 23 piece. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Those weeks went really quickly actually. I'm trying to set up my phone so I can have like some form of light. I'm at the gym right now. It is cold this morning and very foggy, like very, very foggy. Let's see what I'm doing. Oh my bobby pins. My fringe is always so fluffy the day after I wash it. Tattoos. Today, I think I'm gonna try and get some content done. 
I'm gonna keep filming this what I eat in a day and make it like two days so I can get some more like food options in the video. My God, it's foggy. Fog is so weird. Um, we set up my Ikea lounge setting yesterday, which looks good. So now it's just like a better seating out. Like it's just nicer. Um, look out there, yo. Okay, I'm gonna head in now. I will chat to you afterwards. People can. Right, so back from the gym now. So I went to a cafe after with some friends for like ages. Probably not, like it's 9.23 right now. I did some grocery shopping on the way home. My tongue is a bit better. It's just like chunky, ooh. But I'm gonna have a productive day. I'm just like taking it easy. It's much nicer weather today. Grocery haul. I did a big shop, so hopefully I've stocked up. Got some sauerkraut. Got some air freshener. Did I need this? Not really. Did I want it? Hell yeah. This is a Thai dragon fruit scent. Lovely. My almond milk was on sale, so I got six. My logic. But um, I go through almond milk like it's water. Like I probably drink more almond milk than I do water, which is not great. Um, I got some sugar-free maple because it was on sale. And I got some more pizza sauce. I'm going to make pancakes for breakfast this morning, I think. Because um, it's been like two days and I haven't had them. Then I got some spinach. I got three pizza bases. I eat pizza a lot. So I just thought, let's just stock up. Then I got some snacks because I don't really have snacks. These are hella expensive for what they are, but they're on sale. They're like the organic seaweed sheets. So I got teriyaki, chili, and teriyaki. Let me not eat them all in one go. Got some cat food from Kiara. And some rolled oats. So. Egg whites, which are quite expensive, but they are worth it because then you don't waste the egg. Some bananas, frozen capsicum, and then frozen raspberries to be a bit fun, and frozen blueberries. I was meant to get carrots as well, but I forgot. So I will also show you the IKEA setup. I time lapsed me putting it all together. But then my camera died and I lost the footage. So it's kind of like not as time lapsey as I would have liked. It was easy to put together, just a little bit time consuming. I think it looks great. Like it's it's cheap, but I think it looks fine. I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Um, I believe Elise is gonna come around this afternoon and help me with the fairy lights. Don't know if I mentioned that. I am starving. I'm gonna stop vlogging now, switch to my what I eat in a day, and make myself some food. <laughs> Um, I've just been editing and I got in a package from Coco and Eve, which they have really good tan, I will say. And they sent in, I'm assuming they've launched some new shampoo and conditioner, which is their Lack of Virgin Super Hydrating Cream Conditioner and Shampoo. It smells really good, actually. Very cute. And then they also sent some uh, unsweetened coconut milk, I guess, to go with the theme. We love that. One of these, I've actually wanted these, one of these for a while. They're like silicone bristles that you use to like wash your head with to get more of a deeper scrub, which I definitely get a buildup of like dry shampoo, sweat and stuff from the gym. So I'm keen to use that. I saw this and it says like the confectionist face biscuits. And I was like, no way, surely not. So I like opened it up. It's me. It's my face on a giant biscuit or cookie. Does that look like me? First of all, the regrowth. It smells kind of weird, Freya. Um, it's so big, like. I'll show you the finished product with the IKEA stuff when I move the boxes out of the way because they're kind of in the, in the way at the moment. Onward with the day. Hi. I look so good right now. <laughs> this is an update on my skin. I do feel very, very self-conscious um, putting it out there to you guys, even though I've put plenty of videos of my skin when it's bad on the internet. It just hasn't been this bad in like years. So my naturopath though, like I said, she's given me some new herbs and stuff, but yeah, I just feel a bit like, ooh. Um, but this is all right, it'll be okay. Skin is not the be all and end all. It's Thursday today, I've just been doing a little bit of cleaning. I'm not going to the gym today just because I wanted a rest day. It's just quarter past eight. 
the birds are chirping. But I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. It is Sophie Jane Miller's birthday today, or like her, um, I think it's, actually no, I think it is her birthday today. And she's having like a little picnic that I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna make some Macro Mike banana bread. So, because I've got some really ripe bananas here, so I thought may as well. Basically, all you need to do is mix this with milk and 130 grams of ripe banana. Bake it, and that's it. 275 mils of milk. That in. Girl, you chosen. I have zero minutes left. And just mix that all together. Okay, I've just mixed it together like a little bit. Now, what is 130 grams of banana? Girl, you chosen. These bananas are perfect rackness for where we're at. That is literally 129 grams. Do I only need one? Yeah, okay. Mash her up now. Still holding. Don't you give it to me and just me only. Mm. Okay. Okay, I think they're a little undercooked. <laughs> they still taste good and like there's no like egg or anything in them. But what I'm gonna do, I've just chopped them up. Like they're just very like gooey, kinda. So I'm just gonna, I chopped them up. I'm just gonna pop them in the oven, I think, and see like if I can cook them just a little bit more. Just cause I don't want them to be like super dry, but they're a bit like undercooked. <laughs> Maybe be a little more than friends, you and I, yeah. But lately you've been acting like a ghost And never answer when I hit your phone, uh, If you wanna go, just let me know, Why? I guess I never should've let you in so close to my body Never, ever! What's this one? Oh soup. my word, I fucking love to. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's kind of nice, isn't it? I like it most. <laughs> the question. She's like, good morning guys, happy Friday. It is after 12 p.m. I just finished editing my what I eat in a day, which you would have already seen by the time you see this video. Well, it's not really what I eat in a day, it's more of a what I eat in two days. So that's just exporting. About to pop out and get a coffee, um, just to get out of the house. I haven't gone to the gym this morning. Been having a bit of off week with the gym, to be honest. I washed my hair though, which I probably shouldn't have. I've been washing my hair way too often lately. But yeah, just exporting the vlog. And then when I get back, I'll probably just make the thumbnail. So Naked Harvest have launched some teas and I've tried one of them, I think. They've got four. I've tried the energy one. Don't mind the pimple cream on my face. That's just. I haven't obviously used them enough to like know. There's a period tea, bloating and calming. I think I want to try the calming. I mean the bloating one. So basically, they're like loose teas. That smells like there's turmeric in here, surely. Or peppermint. Peppermint? What was this one? This one's like ginger and licorice. This has more like lavender, and then this one is dandelion i'm not a huge tea person i'm more like a black tea yes let's do a world it comes with one of these things so i just kind of um my code with naked harvest is connor i believe oh gosh that's chunky um Soph was saying yesterday at her birthday that she really likes the teas so I need to get more into it instead of having coffee all the time. Oh, I need, also need to make my compound from Tia. I haven't had it today, I don't think. Or have I? Have I? No. Let me pour this in. Let me like let it seep for a little bit. I'm 
I'm gonna let that seep. I'm just gonna make my compound from tea, y'all. Uh, normally, actually, that's what I should do. I put it in my Starbucks cup. You can't even see me. Sorry. So I have my compound that she gives to me based on me. When I initially went and saw her, she gave me the balance, which you can buy from her website. So I'm back on it now just because my skin is having a little bit of a freak out. Bit of that. I don't know when I'm meant to see her again, actually. Probably quite soon, just because I'm like due. So, but you can put this in smoothies, in anything you want. It's like hormone support. Pop her in. And then I like to mix my Genora in there as well, um, which apparently Genora aren't doing the discount codes anymore. They've like lowered their prices, but this makes my hair grow at the speed of lightning. We take her every day. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of beauty brain, cause why not? This just helps with like focus and immunity and stuff. I'm gonna sh shake her all up. Make sure that's secure, cause the amount of times I've not secured it and it's just like, pfft. Normally I have this in the morning, but I forgot, I think. And I down this. But it's nice to just get it all in like one go. Let me show you my finished Ikea outdoor setting. And the fairy lights, we managed to fix those. Elise came round, but we kind of like figured out a way to do it without using any drilling. We just kind of like poked them up into the fence because it's like a metal fence. If that makes any sense, but they look so cute. I need to take these off. But this is the setting. Just like fix that. How cute. Turn this back way around. So I've got that there. I need to get rid of the boxes. <laughs> I've kept like the other chairs. Oh gosh, it's just all shambles, isn't it? Just with some seating, which is nice. And then these are the lights. I think I showed you. How cute. I love the vibe. So it's like solar lights. They're just from Bunnings. So they just turn on automatically when it goes dark. Just like such a cute vibe. I'm definitely gonna put some up around here as well so when the light's off um it's like a cute vibe if you know me i hate harsh lighting i cannot stand it um so that's them my camera's dying i need to get a second battery because it literally lasts for two seconds where's my charger i think you can charge and record at the same time but i feel like my camera's definitely died while i've been charging it my tea should be ready mm. nice because it's cold. Hmm, I do like that actually. I'm actually going to quickly just curl my fringe. Um, I'll show you how I do that because I'm pretty sure I haven't actually done that. Just take y'all into my office. That's filthy. I did wash my hair today. It's just kind of air dried. I'm just going to take out my fringe. I am kind of a little bit over having a fringe now, like quite a short one. I do love it, but I think it is just a little bit high maintenance for gym purposes. <laughs> but this is the Dyson, so this is like the blow dryer head. But I'm gonna use, I probably should wet it, spray it with some of this stuff. It's like, I don't know what this is, honestly. It's just like spray for styling. It's gonna look really crazy. Trust the process. So, I never know what way to go. Nope, this way. I'm gonna just. That's all wet though. Hang on. Dry it that way. Oh, that's hot. This way. Okay. Stop. And then I'm gonna separate it again. So it's gonna be really, but it's so easy because you just pop it there. And then. Like that. And then you cool shot it. So it like sets. And then it's gonna be extremely curly like that. I just don't... And then I'm just gonna like brush it. Otherwise it'll be very curly. See how it just shoop. <laughs> then I change the heads for the opposite one. I cannot do this to save my life. And Cool shot again. And then brush it out again. I probably should let it cool, but I don't want it to be too like this. I just kind of pull on these pieces so they're not so curly. 
But yeah, that's what I do. So I can't tell whether it's a bit too much. And then I just like spray it a bit with hairspray. It's gonna fall. It's gonna look a little bit less like crazy, but it just spray. Oop, that's in my eye. I don't honestly care if it's too, it doesn't need to be super like curtain -y, but how good, how good, how good. That is how I do my fringe at the moment. Who would have thought that, that getting that would be so difficult? Apparently for me it is. Let me just wipe off this um, situation. Ooh. Someone commented as well on my last video saying my skin's breaking out because I've come off the pill. I came off the pill over 12 months ago, well over 12 months ago now. So I don't know if it can take that long for your skin to like freak out. I don't know. It could be that. I've got makeup on, but I just like... <laughs> had these two pimples that were causing me actual pain that I had to just like squeeze and which I know is naughty. I'm very self-conscious about my skin at the moment, um, but I appreciate all of you guys trying to help and find out what the, what the heck's going on. It's, it's, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack sometimes. Fast and Furious looks trash. I can't believe it's like Fast and Furious 9. Today. It is actually midday. I had the world's biggest sleep in of my life. Yeah, it's 10 to 12 right now. About to go down to the coast to do like a bit of like a, a walk or like a hike around like Burley Hill or something like that. I just got in a chair from Temple Webster. They delivered it on a Saturday, kind of random if you would have seen. How cute is she? Isn't she nice? It was so easy to assemble as well. You just had to like pop the legs on. But anyway, we're gonna get going now. I'm just wearing like active wear, obviously. So, Stax seamless collection and then the Stax jumper. But yeah, I'll touch you. Three. We're gonna head to Palm Beach to go to this Asai place. Hopefully it's still open to get something to eat. I think we're gonna stay and maybe try and watch the sunset just to kill a bit of time, but it's so nice. The weather is beautiful. I wanna feel every little bit of your sunburned skin. I just found out about a new desire. So pretty voiceover. Wow, wow, we wow. Go to her. Good, good. How are you doing? Oh, this is this is really this is really HD. All those green eyes. Oh my lord. Hi. Ready? Come here. There <laughs> you go. See? Not that scary, is it? Hi! You're beautiful, aren't you? Gentle. I love when they just whack you with their tail, like... Yeah. Oh, slobber boy. Slobber and all over now. Yeah. Bonnie! Hey, Al. What would I... Yeah, what would I... Are you would go for it. Are you would go for it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I see you! I know I can see you! So won't you come close? Q&A. 
It is 4.30 right now. I thought I would just come and sit in my car. I'm in a random car park. There is something about car Q&As that just hit different. Let's just hope no one is watching me. But basically today, haven't got up to much, went for a walk. I twisted my ankle again. The same one that I twisted a couple weeks ago. I was like just walking down my, not even my driveway, but like the grass out of the front of my house. And I just twisted it. It's a bit sore. I, it really hurt. Like I nearly started crying, but it's it seems to be okay now. My family and I are going to have a hit of tennis. We all played tennis growing up. We're going to do that, which I'm kind of excited for. I love tennis. But yeah, I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me some questions to do a little life update. Because I think it's, <laughs> it's a little bit due. We'll get right into that. In all honesty, I have been feeling a little bit off probably the last few months, honestly. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I just don't feel fully me. And I feel like it's so normal to have phases like this where you're just not quite right. I don't know. I've been feeling I've had a lot of off weeks. I think I've been cutting myself a little bit too much slack lately. I'm not as productive as I want to be. And I think it's a vicious cycle. When I'm productive, I feel the best. And I, that's when I feel the most positive, more like myself. So I think I just need to really knuckle down and just be a little bit more strict with myself in terms of work and just getting stuff done. Obviously, there's a balance and work and life. I've definitely been, like I said, living my life a bit more, having a little bit more fun, which is so fine. I don't know. I just think I really need to be like, Connor, stop faffing around as much. That's what I'm trying to get at. And I'm also saying this to hold myself accountable, not to complain or anything like that. I just think when I voice it to you guys, it's almost like therapy for me. So I'm like, right, I need to kind of knuckle down and just I really want to work on my vlog content like I feel like I haven't been happy with my weekly vlogs lately I want to include more fitness content that type of thing anyway I'm gonna stop rambling about that with that said my life has definitely changed a lot over the past few months like where the heck did you come from? My life has definitely changed dramatically over the last few months in so many ways. Emotionally, I would say I'm a lot different, which I know sounds so cliche. Something just kind of switched in me and my, yeah, I feel, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get into some questions because there are a lot of questions. I'm sure a lot of you are waiting for me to talk about one specific one. There are so many. So someone said, what would you want to say to your 16 year old self? Oof. Honestly, okay, there's a guy, right? I've tried to park far away from everything. I would say it's gonna be all right. It sounds so cliche, but like, you're gonna be fine. High school and schoolwork is not the be all and end all. Uni is not the be all and end all. You're gonna be fine. It's all gonna work out. That's basically what I would tell myself. And the things that I'm worrying about now, you won't even think of in a few months time, like when you graduate high school. Yeah. That's what I would say. How do you motivate yourself to eat healthier and find the daily motivation to work out? Now, my motivation to work out lately has been really low. With that said, there is a big difference between motivation and discipline. They're not the same thing. Most people aren't motivated. <laughs> motivation is hard because it's really dependent on your mood and just so many factors go into having motivation. Discipline is something that you have to work on and it's a lot harder to have. There are a lot of days when I don't feel like going to the gym, but I'm disciplined to go. I'm not necessarily motivated to go. Discipline is more so just thinking to yourself, hang on, this is going to make me feel so much better. I kind of list all the reasons in my head subconsciously as to why I work out or as to why I eat healthily. Eating healthily is more so ingrained in me and I don't eat healthy all the time. I eat a lot of food. I love to eat. <laughs> I've definitely just been enjoying all the good foods lately. Going out a lot more, which is tied to another reason. Sometimes you got to draw the line. Oh, there's a guy stunning. You got to draw the line between motivation and discipline. The more disciplined you are to work out, the easier it'll be and the more of a habit it'll be and it slowly becomes second nature. But also, if you don't feel like going and you've gone every day for the last five days, like give yourself a rest. That's so fine. Someone said, how do you stop your tan from transferring to your clothes? I don't find my tan transfers unless it's like super fresh. I just make sure I really wash off the guide color. Sometimes if you wash it off with water, you don't really get it all off. So I make sure I go in with soap and I get it off. So I'll wash it off initially and all the like guide color comes off. Then if you go in with soap, you'll see it almost turns gray and then it gets all of it off. If I don't do that, then it will definitely transfer onto my clothes because it's a little bit left over. And I usually don't really wear white day one of my tan just because I find that if it's going to transfer, it's going to show up on white clothing. And I find that if I put moisturizer on my body, that helps it transfer. But I do moisturize every day. I think you just got to like learn how to put clothes on. Like don't rub your clothes really hard on your 
your skin or if it's like light colored clothing especially yeah <laughs> all right let me just answer the big giant elephant in the room which is do I have a boyfriend? Who's the guy in your vlog? <laughs> I always said that I would only introduce you to someone who is a serious partner. Just, I <laughs> can't even like explain. What I have found with vlogging my life, it is very, very, very difficult to conceal a boyfriend. If you haven't guessed, yes, I do have a boyfriend. I am in a relationship. Your girl is no longer single. <laughs> I had been single for, oh gosh, I think just over two years. So yes, I do have a boyfriend and I didn't plan on showing him, honestly, because that's a part of my life that is still private and I want it to be private to a certain extent. But I think with kind of vlogging my life, it's extremely difficult to conceal a partner like that. So I just thought, I'm just gonna keep vlogging. If he's in it, he's in it. I'm not necessarily gonna introduce him or anything like that at this stage. I hope you guys can like respect that just because yeah it is my private life i would like it to be private at this stage as well but i you guys are so excited and i love seeing your reactions being like oh my god who's the man because i was just kind of like oh well he is a big part of my life now and i'm not gonna try and actively hide him from the vlogs where it's like oh going to the beach am i with someone mm, i don't know that's that maybe down the track i'll introduce you guys or i'll explain a little bit more about how we met and all that jazz but for now, I'm just going to leave it as a, not a secret, but uh, just a little bit more private. Just just for now, you know? So, yeah. But I'm very, very happy. And a lot of you are asking about, is he a tradie like the psychic predicted? He's not a tradie. <laughs> He's not a tradie. Um, I think it just because he was like setting up my Ikea stuff, people were like, oh, what did Joey even say? He does have a tattoo. It's on his left arm though. But everything else, he pretty much fits the bill. Crazy. Um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, a few of you asked regarding my ring that I just don't happen to be wearing right now. So, my Ana Luisa ring, that sold out, which was so crazy. It will be restocking, <clears throat> excuse me, mid-July. I don't have a specific date yet, but all I've been told is mid-July is the restock. I obviously will keep you guys posted, but mid-July. Because I know a lot of you missed out and wanted to get your hands on it, so... I got you. Okay, someone said, how has your skin been? Obviously, throughout this video, in the past few videos, my skin has not been this bad in years. I have no idea what has triggered it. It seems to be all hormonal. And obviously, I do have makeup on. I am very self-conscious about it at the moment. It's not a nice feeling to think I went through Accutane for it to come back, which I know a lot of people do have to do two rounds of Accutane. It's just like a, oh, like I, I really thought it was gone and it's not as bad as it was when I had full blown in the thick of my acne, but it is still pretty bad for me at least. Thinking about when I thought it was bad and to what it is now, it's just progressively gotten worse. I'm hoping that whatever's happening with my hormones, it kind of levels out. Like I said, Tia has given me some herbs to take. But yeah, it's just like all hormonal and my forehead a little bit as well. Just hoping that it comes good and I'm trying to not let it bother me too much. I know I shouldn't wear makeup to work out in and stuff like that, I know. But my self-confidence is more important at the moment. I don't know if that sounds dumb. I just know that if I didn't wear makeup, I would feel so insecure. Even though I vlog myself straight out of bed looking like an absolute mess. I don't know, there's just something about it being in person that I'm just not comfortable with. Someone said, hey Connor, do you take pre-workout just before training or just coffee? Why did I read that so weird? Honestly, I haven't had pre-workout in a really long time. Not for any particular reason. I think, honestly, you know what I need to do is stop having so much caffeine. I was doing well for a little bit. And now I've just kind of gone back on the bandwagon of having coffee all the time. I need to buy my decaf again and have maybe one or two caffeinated and then decaf throughout the rest of the day. But in terms of, yeah, pre-workout, I haven't really been having any. I think it's maybe due to the weather since it's like so cold so cold in Brisbane. I much prefer to have like a warm coffee in the morning before gym. But I think I would actually like to get back into having like my Naked Harvest pre-workout because they're so good. They give me like the best boost. I love it. But yeah, at the moment I'm just having coffee. And yeah, not for any particular reason. Someone said, ever thought about quitting the gym? I cannot see myself not going to a gym ever at this point in my life. The gym is just my favorite place. It's socializing for me because I work from home. I love it and I think it's so good for my mental health. I think anyone who works from home needs or anyone who 
anyone in general, you know, not necessarily working from home, but everyone needs some sort of outlet like that, whether it's the gym, whether it's going for a walk, something that's yours. And for me, that's definitely the gym, even though it is one of those things where it's like some days I definitely don't want to go, but it's just so beneficial for my mental health. And when I'm in the gym of going every day, waking up early, I feel like I'm just thriving and I want to get back to that. <laughs> There's a lady running, pushing the trolley. Someone said, do you plan to travel outside of Australia anytime soon? I would love to go to New Zealand maybe this year. I might go with my dad when he goes over to see his family or our family, my family. No plans to travel. I mean, we can't anyway at this point, but if I could, I definitely would. Really, really want to go back to Queenstown and do a trip there. Did you just teach yourself ways to gain muscle or did someone help like a PT? I know not a lot about nutrition and muscle gain, but I know the basics. Basically, all I've done is I stopped eating in a calorie deficit and I just kept training. Um, I've definitely probably done less less cardio and just focus and obviously I've switched up my training to more CrossFit style and I think a combination of that without actually thinking about it has led to muscle gain like my bum is back I think I've mentioned this before but for a second there she was looking a little bit sad and I was like oh my word when I was my leanest which was January kind of when I was like all right I'm at my leanest I'm looking really shredded let's eat a little bit more don't know if I'm gonna like go through with a cut cut we'll see I don't know we'll see tomorrow's Monday so <laughs> we'll see how we go. Someone said top three furniture store recommendations. Oof. Temple and Webster, Eureka Street Furniture, and probably Kmart. Honestly, Kmart, Adairs also, stunning. Okay, I'll do a couple more. There are so many questions. A lot of them are just, who is the boy? <laughs> Someone said, are you currently tracking macros or just mindfully eating and training? I'm not tracking. I do measure some things just because like pancakes, I get the right quantities and whatnot. I'm definitely eating in a surplus. I'm just having fun, just eating all the good food. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Like I said, I do kind of want to see what would happen if I started eating at a bit of a deficit, like whether I would have like more muscle definition and see the muscles pop out more because I've put on muscle. Do you know what I mean? I should do a body scan. That's what I should do because I have body scans from when I did one in January when I was like lean. So it'd be very interesting to see my muscle mass now. It'd be very interesting to see. Someone said, would you ever consider moving interstate, perhaps Sydney or Melbourne? Yes. I've never like properly considered it. Hypothetically, if my partner, whoever that is, like if this is in 10 years time, like whatever the situation, if they wanted to move to Sydney, would I go? Probably. I wouldn't say no. I would love to move out of where I'm from. Whether that's permanent or temporary, at least one point in my life, I definitely think I would benefit from living in a different state. Whether that's Sydney or Melbourne, I don't know. I think Sydney would be crazy cool. It's crazy expensive though. Melbourne? Probably not because it's so cold. And I definitely am affected massively by the weather. So I think that's why I love Brisbane and Queensland so much is because it's so sunny all the time. And I don't think I could ever live like in the UK or just where it's like dark and dreary all the time because I would just be so sad because I'm so influenced by the weather. I definitely could see myself living in Sydney for sure, for sure. I will do one more. <laughs> Why did you stop F45? No particular reason. I had been doing it for like over a year at that point and I just wanted to switch up my training and I was very intrigued with CrossFit style stuff. Who knows if I'll stay there permanently or I might move on and switch it up again. It's definitely very like taxing on the body CrossFit. Someone commented on my what I eat in a day saying like this was a hickey, it's kind of gone now. It wasn't a hickey, it was just a giant bruise from CrossFit and like I bit my tongue the other day, which is not like a reason to stop by any means and I love it. I think I'm definitely getting better at it. Very difficult. I find it very, very challenging, which I like. No reason I stopped F45, I honestly just wanted to change and switch it up. I think F45 is incredible to start with if that's what you're looking for. Also not saying that you can't start with CrossFit stuff, but it's just, it's just personal preference. Someone said, what are your future plans? Right, we're going to finish on this one. So I really want to try and start a business i reckon there is a guy who's been in his car in front of me for the for this whole time <laughs> i really want to start a business i think that's definitely the next step for me i'm not going to go too much into it but i'm very passionate about everything that i do in life i'm such an all or nothing person i will give 110 percent or nothing at all it's kind of good and bad because I know I would just be so invested in it and to be able to create products and put it out there for people to consume would just be amazing so yeah that would be my absolute like life dream goal I may or may not be starting to like work on it very early days I love that I'm able to vlog and probably document the whole process which would be so cool to look back on 
I'd love to be able to look back on stuff. Like it even, it's still crazy. Like I literally got a memory the other day of when I bought my car, which was a year ago. Like when you actually think about how much you change in a year, sometimes I feel like we can think we're not making any progress, but when you actually think about it, like where were you this time last year and just think about how much has changed, stuff like that, it just blows your mind. It's just crazy. When I saw me with my car, I was like, oh my God, before that, I didn't even have a car. So crazy. I'm so grateful for the life I live and the job that I have. I've worked so hard and I'm so grateful for every one of you. This is turning into a really cheesy segment now, but yeah. That's my little car Q&A slash life update. It's like 5 p.m. now. Um, I'm gonna pop into Kmart and see if they had these like little side tables that could be cute. The sky looks really pretty right now, actually. I'm gonna drive away because this guy is just there. Let's go into Kmart. Oh, sir, baby.